Now in this part of the question then, we're asked to find the area of the shaded region R. And to do this, basically what I'm going to do is think of a triangle. Let's just drop a dotted line down from here and we've got a triangle like this. Okay, I'm going to give this a letter. Let's say that this point is Q and its X coordinate is 5. So what I'm going to do is work out the area of this triangle and then I'm going to work out the area bounded by the curve and the line x equals 5 and the x-axis, this area in here. And I'm just going to then subtract essentially this area from the area of the triangle to get R. Now when it comes to working out the area here, let me just shade this for you, this green area, let's just go across there. Then no wonder they gave us this integral here to work out because to get this area we need to integrate the curve for values of x between 4 and 5. So let me just put that down for you that the area under the curve Okay, let's just put in brackets here the green area. It's going to be equal to the integral of the curve y with respect to x going from x is 4 to 5. So 4 there, 5 there, going from 4 to 5. Well, we've already worked out what the integral of y is. Okay, it was this value here. So we, all we need to do is just put this in limits, okay, or square brackets should I say. x cubed over 3 minus 5x squared over 2 then plus 4x. Now you don't need this constant of integration because it would technically get cancelled out in what would follow. Because what we need to do is put the 5 through here for x, so we've got 5 cubed over 3 minus 5 times 5 squared let's just put that in brackets there over 2 plus 4 times 5 and we can put this in square brackets if you like and then minus put some more square brackets up and we now need to substitute x in as 4 so we've got 4 cubed over 3 minus 5 times 4 squared over 2 and then plus 4 times 2. Close the square brackets off there and work this out on your calculator. If you work that out on your calculator what you should find you get is 11 6. 11 over 6. Now we do need to get the area of the big triangle next that's L N Q. Now I'm running out of room here so what I'm going to do is do the area of the triangle up here. So we've got the area of the triangle, let's label it LNQ, LNQ. Well the area of the triangle is going to be half the base, this being the base, times the height. So we'll have half the base and the base length is going to go from L to Q. L had an X coordinate, remember, of 1, we found that out in the first part of the question. And we know that the X coordinate Q is 5, so this distance is 4 units, so the base is 4. As for the height up here, well that too is 4, okay, the Y coordinate here. And if you work that out, what you've got is 8. So we have the area of the triangle, we have the green area here, which was 11 sixths, so therefore we can say that the area R is going to equal 8 take away the 11 sixths. And if you do that, what you should find that you get is 37 over 6. 37 over 6, and because it's an area, I would always write units squared. Okay? So there's our answer there. A bit crammed up but hopefully you can see that. 
Okay, well that brings us now to the end of this question.